Hi, I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. I'm here with Party Guy, Josh. Hi, I'm Josh Atwell, Senior Technology Advocate at Splunk. So it's a Net DevOps party, right? Not exactly. More a DevNet New Ops party. New Ops. So I went to New Ops Days yes. in San Jose, but you've taken the party on the road. And tell me what cities you've been to and what people have been wanting to know. Sure, so we run a program called New Ops Days. Um, Splunk and some of our partners, Rundeck and DevOps Institute. We started at Silicon Valley, then we went to uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, we made it to Phoenix, Arizona, and we just finished an event in Boston, Massachusetts. So, community manager to community awesome dude, how do you build a community? I mean, it sounds like it's a lot of local work. Uh, it is, and I think the, the biggest part is around finding commonality with people who you need to get together, uh, where they are able to get together and contribute to one another's success, share their experiences. I think that's the biggest part. I mean, that's really what drives community together. Um, and I also think the other part is getting a common language and a common framework for people to, to talk about things makes a huge difference in how you put together a community. What do you think of the DevNet Zone and what do you like about it? Oh, I love the DevNet Zone. Uh, DevNet has always been one of my favorite programs at Cisco, in large part because they really focus on the skills that IT professionals have to develop in this new era of IT. And it ties directly into what we're doing with New Ops Days, where we're really trying to get IT professionals to level up their skill sets because they have to in order to meet the rapid pace of change, the growing complexity and environments, and the new technologies that they're being forced to adopt and support. The question of the week is, oh, and you're not ready for this one, no. developer or engineer? Ooh, I think it's a little bit of both. You can be a developer without being an engineer, you can be an engineer without being a developer, but being one without the other is really, really difficult to be successful. You can develop code, but without having that engineering discipline, you might not actually develop something that is sustainable and operable. And if you're an engineer and you can design systems, but you're not able to actually implement them in a, in a manner that you can operate and maintain, then you're, you're really lacking on a skill set that's important. So I would say that it's a little bit of both. So the training never stops? The training should never stop because the technology around us, our needs, they never end. And it's just how we adapt and change to those needs. Okay, one last question. How much do you like big data? I like big data. I cannot lie. I like it a lot. 